Tonight, you are going to join us camping out inside Epping Forest. This is the first night during our 40 hour stay following on from the previous episode. This place is notorious. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bodies have been found over the years. Murder victims, suicides, satanic ritual sacrifices. You name it, this place has had it. And we are camping here. Call us mad, but I'm on the search for the most epic paranormal activity I can find. And I'm guessing it's here. Go away. I said go away. What's your name? Oh. Whoa. That sounds a bit demonic, though. Yeah. Okay, we've made it uh, back to the church. Now, I've been contacted on Instagram to say that there's a there's a there's a tree. We're studying right in front of it. This tree apparently has a 50-year-old satanic symbol. I found out so much stuff about this place, stuff that's gonna shiver your timbers. But apparently, this tree here has satanic symbols that are over 50 years old. And apparently they're red, and they've never faded. It might be symbols that, you know. I can see it better on the camera, to be honest. I think. I don't know. So, um, it's minus 1.5 right now. It's very, very cold. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the firewood out first. We're gonna go and find the place we're camping, set the set the fire, secure it, put stuff around it, come back, grab the rest of the stuff, just so that the ground's warming up a bit where we're gonna put the tent. And the car is covered in salt, really bad. Yeah, it's pretty spooky in here. Look in here is owls. We're just looking where to set camp. Went back to the car, grabbed the tent. So we're using the big tent. Huh? I know. What are you talking about? Sorry. We're using the big tent tonight because, um, just because we're using some other equipment, um, we need a bigger tent. Tomorrow, we're going to use the two separate tents. Um, I'm probably going to be camping separate from each other. So, uh, right, let's get this up because at the moment, from down there, all you can see is this all glowing. So we're gonna put the tent here, hopefully it shields a lot of that. There we go, we've got the tents up there. Uh, fire is, yeah, it's, it's a good distance away from the tent. Um, obviously we always have a mini fire extinguisher, a fireball, 
uh, which is it's like a ball that you throw on the fire and it explodes and puts out fire and uh, obviously we've got water as well in case of any emergency um, I get a lot of people saying oh your fires are too close to the tent um, we always take precautions and we're always in full control 99% of the time yeah. so a bit of a weird mark that look at the way it's come out of the tent that's, nice. that's, no. that's, that's is it damp? Yeah. Or is it the way it's been folded? Maybe a bit the way it's been folded, but... I don't know, it looks like a demon face. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said to the phone, man. Keep us off this ground, which is a bit damp. I can't wait to sleep in that now. Shit. Just having it settled on top of us, I can feel the heat. One minute, 37 seconds later. Two hours later. Oh shit, how long's that camera been there? Oh shit. How about that? <laughs> Can I? Well, it's uh, almost four o'clock in the morning and stuff in the tent started icing up. It's uh, minus three now. Um, really cold. So we just had to blast the fire on, even though from the road people can see us. There's not many cars going past now, it being four o'clock. But we've had to chuck a bunch of, uh, bunch of stuff on just to get things thawed out a little bit, because it was so damn cold. But that's some, oh, some nice heat coming from that now. 
Right, okay, I'm going to get the uh, the Navigin camera out now um, and start running some paranormal um, investigation inside the forest. The forest has all of a sudden come swamped in fog. Uh, it's quite hard to see. Um, <laughs> let's go. Okay, so um, obviously we're inside Epping Forest. Uh, not too deep in the woods. The, uh, the church is a stone throw. Now, this place is notorious for satanic rituals. People have been... Um, coming here for 60, 70 years doing satanic stuff and even now call it the modern day satanic rituals because it still happens to this day. Also, so many people have been buried here, bodies have been found here, even rumours that the Korea twins had buried, buried victims here. Um, bodies, bodies have been dug up in the dozens over the years. Um, if there's going to be a haunted forest, it's going to be this one and it's going to be littered in them. I mean, we've experienced weird stuff before so um, obviously it warrants a return and now uh, yeah 40 hours in the forest you already know how it is anyway uh, we're gonna we're gonna crack on with some different experiments this time um, I'm not gonna get it all out at once I'm gonna try working one item at a time uh, and just see if we can uh, coax whatever is in here to, to, to react with that item rather than maybe tomorrow we'll have it where there's quite a few items out but because obviously it's just hard work with all these different items going off so if we work on one item only and um and just see what happens let's go okay so um it started spitting for like two minutes um so i didn't know whether we were going to put the camera away or not because this one's not waterproof but luckily it's just stopped and while it stopped i wanted to show you something because i am going to run some experiments that i've done in the past in a video which uh, I caught something spectacular on, on, on camera. Well, picture, well, Polaroid, let's take a look. Okay, so these are only two of my paranormal boxes. Uh, this is the main one, uh, it has most of the goodies in. So inside here, we will find, uh, you've got obviously the REM pod, you've got a 360 REM pod detector, cat balls, um, Alice box, EVP recorder, another music box, the coffee music box, uh, SPF 7, spirit box, uh, K2 meter back there, uh, crystals, um, this this little device is, is kind of like the Alice box but it's very very quiet so I haven't used it yet, I'm trying to work out a way to amplify the noise but basically it spits out words as well so and it can be used in conjunction with the Alice box. Uh, full spectrum camera, um, that is normally the main box this box is mostly ir uh, illuminators ir floodlights lasers other bits and bats but i also house in here a very very special item or oh, cctv cameras normally in here this is my polaroid camera now just i don't know if i've got Yeah, I think I might have some film left in it. Otherwise, I'll have to run to the car and get some. So, uh, last time we used this was at Jason's uh, manor house. Now, he was uh, claiming the place was completely riddled in paranormal activity. He also witnessed what he said was a, a monk in his bedroom window with a brown robe on. Well, two hours after he told us that story, we were in his bedroom doing an investigation pulled out this camera, I took a total of 16 photos and in two of those photos we caught what looked like a monk in the, in the exact same window. Uh, here's a quick flashback at those pictures. Um, so yeah, um, this is one of my favourite tools at the moment. And whenever, whenever, whenever you look at old paranormal photos, they all seem to be on Polaroid. That's because I've, I've heard of stories where you can fake them, but like with... Um, uh, it was, like, was it the Enfield Poltergeist? They proved that some of them were fake. They had like, uh, they put like white specks on it, it like white orbs and stuff. Um, so y y they can be faked, but when you're seeing it filmed in real time, then you, you know you know the score. And I have used it, I think, three or four times and nothing's ever happened. So you know how it is. These videos are completely legit. There's no trickery, no, nothing like that. Some of the previous paranormals we've done, nothing's happened. And I like to put out the stuff that, you know, nothing happens as well, just to show the legitimacy, you know, you don't always capture something. Okay, so when I was younger, uh, I also had a Polaroid uh, camera, and uh, 
a lot of people don't realize how long I've been doing this. So I actually have a video from 2006 where I explored a place called Whittingham Asylum, Guznar Preston. It was our like local spooky place to go to. Um, so I have a video from 2005 from uh, that place and it was filmed on a on a one of cassettes, a little little tape and I mean I'll show you quick clip now. Whittingham Hospital and Whittingham Hospital in Goosnar. This is Augie. Oh, it's in Whittingham. This is Dan Douglish. This is Bottle Bolly and this is Dan Dixon. How are you? I'm alright mate. We're about to go into this <laughs> place. <laughs> that room's still intact. Which one? We can still see the lampshade there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Tr trying to avoid security right now. But... Mirror image. What's that? It's on mirror image, Dan. Open screen. Body takes some snapshots. Oh. Yeah, we need some snapshots. Yeah. We've got some video coming. We've got some video coming. That, that's a quick clip. Um, so yeah, I've been doing this a hell of a long time and yes, I know I kind of look like Mr. Blobby back then. I was, Fletcher, you haven't seen it yet. I was like <laughs> just a round body and a round skin head with no beard. It was just, it wasn't a good look. <laughs> yeah, so um, age has done me pretty well. And back then I used to use a Polaroid camera as well and actually found one photo. That, this is the photo. So yeah, um, that's me with the red uh, jumper and red hat on, looking very shocked because we captured what looked like uh, a little bit of mist ne next to a church. Can't find the photo on now. I'm surprised they even found that one. But right, let's uh, let's let's crack on with one of the experiments I'm going to do. So one of the things I used to do back then is I would basically hold my hand out and I would say, if there's anything here, if you can, when when we take a photo, just show yourself here even if it's just a slight bit of light if it's a um, an orb or if you can manipulate the photo in any way uh, to show that I'm here and flex I'm gonna ask you to take the photo so yeah. what I need you to do when I pull it open it's gonna charge green light means it's charged right and it's just this button here right okay all you need to do is press that in hard right and it should spit a photo out if it doesn't it means I've got to run to the car. Right, this. let me see if I can... You've got to juggle this one, but... I'm, I'm holding two cameras, but bear with me. Let's see if I can find the button first. Uh, it's here. Right there. Oh, there. No, there. There. That red, it's a red one. Right, there. got it. <laughs> we can do this flex. It's getting bit by midges or something. It's too cold for midges, though. So you pull it towards yourself. Yeah, you do. Right. Yeah, you pull it towards yourself. Right, we've got right. this. I've got it now. I'm ready. Right, if there is anything in the forest, I know we've made some communication. We made some on on uh, Flex's paranormal. Um, I would love it if you could show yourself in some way. Now, I'm going to hold both hands out. If you can, I know it sounds a bit weird, but hold my hand or or show yourself. It's not been windy all night. It's no. Like that it picked up wind. Coincidence, maybe. Uh, you tell me when you want me to go. If you can, we're going to take the photo. And we're going to count down uh, from three. So, oh, fuck what was that? I don't know. Did something fall from the tree? I don't know. I didn't see it. I didn't. I didn't fuck see. Or, I heard it. I didn't see anything. All right. Sorry. I'm um, just. I shouldn't. I shouldn't get startled like that anymore. I definitely heard it though. Torch I'm actually sat in the black. I've just got a torch in this box just in case I need it. Just so I can see some ambient light. Uh, right, shake it off. I need to stop, I need to stop getting like this. I don't know why I keep doing this. Um, right, sorry if I uh, startled you by startling, getting startled. Right, hands are out. If you can, show yourself the palms of my hands. Wait for that car to Hang on. Just wait for that car to Yeah. Pass. you got six minutes left. Have you got a spare battery? Yeah. yeah. So if you can show yourself in the palms of my hands in three, two, one. <laughs> right, you're gonna have to go to the car. <laughs> We're out of film. <laughs> right, that was it. I'm sorry everyone. If you're waiting to show yourselves, I'm just gonna go get some film. I'll be back soon. <laughs> cool. Oh guys, you are not gonna believe this. So sorry everyone, I've come back to the car. I was almost 100% positive I had some Polaroid pictures, but I must have taken them out after the last one, so I don't actually have any. Um, I apologise. I will make sure I have them next time, I promise. Right, okay guys, again, I can only apologise. 
Um, I just, uh, my head wasn't with it with the Polaroids. I thought I had them in my bag. Anyway, we're going to jump onto an EVP. We haven't done an EVP tonight. So uh, let's see if the uh, the whispers in the forest want to talk to us. Uh, let me see if we can see this. Hi, my name's Dan. You probably already know this. We're currently here for 48 hours. We would love to make contact with you. If you could clearly say your name into this device, then I can address you properly. Are you one of the victims? What? No, it's just got like, like a wind swirl all of a sudden. Are you one of the victims in the forest? If you could, could you clearly tell me the year that you passed away? Yeah, it's sounding weirdly eerie when I started doing that. Maybe it's just because we went quiet. Right, you ready? Yep. Hi, my name's Dan. You probably already know this. We're currently here for 48 hours. We would love to make contact with you. If you could clearly say your name into this device, then I can address you properly. Are you one of the oh, victims? Dead. There was something I couldn't make it out. It did sound like a wind swirl or maybe a wind. That? There was definitely something there. There was definitely something there. It, was, it, sound, it sounded like a. Yeah. Contact with you. If you properly. Are you one of the victims? To be honest, it sounded like a hmm. like a breathing. You can definitely uh, hear something. Yeah, it wasn't a great deal. Um, probably just going to move on to the next thing anyway. Um, let's get the spirit box out. I think you'd ever hear me say that. Spirit box it is. I can't really tell, I don't think, on the camera, but it's really foggy in here. <laughs> it's, uh, it makes it like 10 times spookier. That, that, uh, here, yeah, straight ahead. One thing I will say is uh, Flex's video is completely different. So I helped Flex do a paranormal earlier, and um, 
and I filmed it with his camera. So if you want to see his, you've got to go over to his channel. I'm not even kidding you, the responses he had on the Alice box and the REM pod, uh, like, scared me. I, like, and I don't really get scared often now, but let's just say it said my name and it said some other stuff that was like, oh my God. Um, and then the REM pod was going off on demand. So let's see if we can get the same results. Um, yeah, got to go over flex tape, sure, you know. What's it doing when you were here? I wonder if uh, it's been watching us all night. Um, obviously, I've already introduced myself earlier on. But my name is Dan, and I mean you no harm at all. Obviously, you've probably been watching us for a while. We've camped out in your forest. We've done no harm. In fact, we slept for a couple of hours. If you want, if you can just go and touch that, at least I'll know that you're here. And we can uh, try and talk to you. What was that? Don't know. That car. It's not like someone was shouting. I think it's a car. It is. It's a car. It's not like <gasps> someone was wailing. <laughs> All you need to do is go over to that red light. You don't even have to touch it. If you just go near it, really close to it, it'll make a little noise and let me know that you're there. Someone's walking around over there. Yeah. If that's you, you're welcome to come over. I, I've got to, I've got to really stress this as well. This place is massive. Like the Epping Forest is is huge, and there's just me and Flex. Just me and Flex, it's just two of us inside this forest camping. Obviously, we've got a main road over there. So it's not a main road, it's like a little pathways through through the forest, which is uh, starting to get busier now. It's starting to get towards uh, five, six o'clock. But even though that's going on there, it still feels very lonely in here. Well, it doesn't seem like uh, you want to come and play with us now. Have you had enough? If you want us to leave, just press that, press that light. Or make a sound. It's not often I do this. It's not often I get this out. Because <laughs> I'm not a massive fan, but I'll tell you what, let's go for it. Xbox. Gaming. FM. Pigeon. Right. If you want, you can come over and speak to me in this device. If you can let me know that you're here and say hello, please. I need you to say hello. I'll tell you what, if you want us to leave, just say leave. If you say leave, we'll pack up. I think that gets out. Hmm. Get out. He said name Walter. He yeah, said I have two skips. I heard that. He also said uh, generic. Name Walter. Is your name Walter? He said go away. Yeah, I hear it. 
Ja. Und sag woman, like, go away. Do you definitely want us to go away? We can talk to you. So for those who don't know and not seen these before, what it does is it basically skips over radio stations, um, loads of different radio stations. And the theory is that a spirit or whatever it is, ghosts, can manipulate this, um, these airwaves and can speak through it. And sometimes you'll get a voice that will say something, but it will say it over three skips, which means that skipped through, you know, maybe three radio stations to get that one word. So that's, that's the how it works. If you want to give us a name, now's your chance and we can try and find out who you are. Chief Inspector. Chief Inspector. What's your name? Oh. Whoa. That sounds a bit demonic, that. Yeah. Are you, are you one of the witches that used to reside here? One of the witches that used to come in and, and uh, perform witchcraft? That damaged the forest? You was gonna give us a name, what was it? <sighs> Got a couple of bits through, but that... Fuck it, I thought someone was still there then. Oh my God. <sighs> See that tree there? Yeah. It's done it like someone still there then. Yeah. <laughs> Look there. <laughs> EMF out, so you obviously with EMFs, EMF detector, this uh, detects obviously electromagnetic fields. Now you've got to be careful because the phone can set it off. So not so much, but if it starts ringing, oh there we go. Mm. The phone can set it off, but if the phone's in my pocket, it shouldn't set it off. But what you've got to be careful of, and if you see someone using one of these, right? and they've got the thumb on here, be a little bit suspicious because you can manipulate it by just pressing it. Just pressing it also slightly, so you've got to be careful, yeah. If I ever hold this, I hold it like that. Right at the bottom, like this. So there's no manipulation at all. Or I put, or I put it down somewhere. The sun's starting to rise already. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there we go. There we go, there's something. Something there. Hold on. Step back. Look, right. Like child height almost. That's strange. Are you a child? If you are, just touch that red light, what hurt? What hurt you at all? I'm surprised we've had no response from that after the stuff you had on yours. It does validate it even more, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. It makes it so much more legit. Right, let's move to a different spot. Yeah. Okay, so we're back at base camp and this is where Flex had the most activity. Um, fire, we've run out of fire, we're literally burning twigs right now. Um, it is minus three, it's freezing, the fog's rolled in, you've seen how it is. Um, this is going to be my last ditch uh, effort to uh, contact anything here. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to pack up. So, yeah, if anyone is here, please feel free to touch the devices we've got. The REM pod there, 
EMF detector there, and I'm going to run this as well, so I'm actually going to run three things at once. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so you are very familiar with us. We've been here quite a few times. If you can, please speak your name into this device or touch those devices. Let us know that you're here. <laughs> Said one off. Mm. Were you murdered here? Will Smith. Mm, yeah, no, 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 no. It was a good track back in the day. Yeah. About 1999. Come on, surely there's someone here. The person who was here before when Flex was calling out. Can you step forward, please, and help us? Will just keeps coming through. Hmm. I wish I, so I would have done some EVPs, but my um, my I, I'd left all the batteries at home. So, uh, come on. Oh, EMF, EMF flickering. Oh. Go, oh, both at the same time. Came back. Both at the same time. If that's you, can you get a little bit closer to it, please? A bit closer. It's like they're just stepping forward a little bit. Yeah. Maybe scared of it. Maybe because it's going daylight. Look, both at the same time again. Wow. Is that whatever it is? It's shooting across. Look. <gasps> See that flick there? Yeah. There? Oh, again. If you can, move across to this one. Yeah, if you, so you're at this one now. Please move one to one. Oh, look, look. <gasps> Hello. I've never seen it just do little blips like that before, though. <gasps> Thank you so much. How's that? How's that look? I'm just, I want to see what it looks like because it's almost. Our time is nearly up here. We're gonna have to leave. Can you please do something? Throw something at us. Shout. See, look, it's gone to that one now. Look, look at that. It's both at the same time. And if you step close to it, yeah, step close to it, it goes off. Ah. Don't forget, we are here tonight as well. We're here for 48 hours. So maybe this is just like an introduction. You know, maybe maybe tomorrow, maybe tonight, like things will really kick off. I might be getting ready for it. I feel like I'm gonna have to get everything out tomorrow. Yeah. SLS camera. I've got my SLS camera, by the way. Um, the, the proper one that I'll show you. Can we have a look? Obviously, I've got um, obviously I've got the uh, the tablet for it in the case, but yeah, we're, we're going to be using a proper legitimate SLS camera. Um, I'm not a fan of the phone ones. I'm not saying they don't work, but what I'm saying is 
this uses uh, like thousands or hundreds of lasers um, to, to basically grid and that's how it maps out people with these lasers so when it when it shoots out all these lasers and then it picks up a figure there it's hard to deny where phone doesn't do that the form i'm not sure how the form works um yeah it's like it's like we with spirit talking apps and stuff on the phone hmm. i'm just not a massive fan i'm not saying they don't work but i'm just not a bit, i'm not a fan but yeah we'll be using this tomorrow night um we're also we'll get out the, the uh, emf trip rope we're, we're, we're gonna pull out all the stops <laughs> But yeah, it's morning time now. We're going to have to pack up. We already know how it, We didn't even get a chance to cook food this time. Unfortunately, no. Do you know what it was? I'm not even going to lie to you. We got in the tent about 2 o'clock in the morning, weren't it? About 2 o'clock in the morning. And we both just fell asleep. And it was like something sucked the energy out of me. Like, I was so damn tired. The thing is, is I, was, I was slightly tired when I got here. But not that kind of tired. But, like, both of us hmm. just completely knocked out. Which is super rare. So, um, oh, was something affecting us? I don't know, maybe not. Maybe we were just tired and lazy. But, um, yeah, t t tonight's going to be a whole different story. So, uh, in a few days' time, we'll be dropping part part three. If it's a four, yeah, because we did the day mm. daytime. Yeah. Then we've done this first night. Now, yeah, in a few days' time, you'll be seeing... Oh, God, let's get out of this smoke. <laughs> a few days' time, you'll be seeing the, uh, the full... Last night, which is probably going to be ending with a bang because I'm pulling out all the stops, obviously. You already know how it is. But yeah, I'll see you back in the car. Or let's cue to the time lapse taking down the tent. Oh, look at this. The sun's coming up. It's almost daylight properly now with the fog. Right, let's get this tent down. Let's get home. Well, back to the hotel, that is. Okay guys, we've packed up. Um, really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button. And don't forget, uh, like three or four days, we have the second night coming out where we're camping in a different location. It might be Hangman's Hill. It might be some other place. It might be where there's been mass bodies been found. We don't know yet. We're gonna do some research today, find out where the best spot to camp. Um, big thank you to everyone on Instagram who's been sending me ideas and locations for Epping Forest as well. Um, this is going to be a continuous series for a while because it is so, it's so damn big. It's so damn big. We've got a lot to do here. Let's go to the car. Uh, the Holy Innocence Church in all its foggy glory don't forget if you've got any suggestions on where you want us to camp next let me know down below because me and Flex are proper on it now um, you know I, 
So I don't speak about it often, but like a lot of people, you know, I, I'm only human. I, some, I suffer from like depression and stuff sometimes. Yeah, um, it's not like major or anything, but it it just it puts me off my work. It puts me off filming. It it makes me not want to. So uh, the moment I've got my mojo back properly, and I'm like, right, I'm feeling like it's 19, uh, 19, 19, 19, 19. I was gonna say nine, <laughs> nineteen. Uh, so, <laughs> Uh, I'm tired. I I'm feeling like it's 2019 again. Um, so flex, we're we're proper on it, aren't we? Oh yeah. Expect what? Two videos a week again. Two videos a week. Don't forget, please go over, subscribe to the Flex tapes. His video is completely different to mine, and always will be. He'll always do his own thing, and I'll be filming him. So it's uh, it's an extra paranormal. With, with me in it as well, yeah. that you guys don't see, so you gotta make sure you go over to Flex's video. And don't forget, I'll be I'll be going over to his video and seeing how many people... Oh, what? No, what we need to do? Alright, just go over there a sec. <laughs> Alright, go over and just put... I want everyone to just go over and just write hashtag fighters family. Because I want to go on and count how many and he won't know what you put in. So when he just start, he'll just start randomly getting all these comments saying fighters family. I'm going to count how many there is. And if I get if I get over like 30, then yeah, we will do something even crazier next time. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go Flex. Right, you didn't hear that. You're not allowed to know what we said. No, you're not allowed. Right, to the hotel. Let's go. There's a police in there. Who? Yeah. Who? What do they do? You know the jeeps they've got? Oh, right. I love jeeps, loads of them. Oh. Weird. Oh, there's a little pond. So, uh, fun fact, there's, uh, there's, I think it's uh, close to a hundred ponds. Um, around Epping Forest. Um, a lot of them are man-made, but there's a lot of them that are uh, from the war, from bombs hitting. Uh, so that's pretty interesting, yeah. But the, the place is vast. It's big, it's dense, it's foggy, and it's haunted as shit. Stay tuned for tonight. You already know.